Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So I welcome all of you in my today's video, and I'm going to start the uh, Gaini Pink right from the start, and I will do two pages per day, and I will explain all the things, all the MCQs that will help you in your exam. So starting from the from the from the first MCQ that is a patient a, a scenario of fissure pain due to which nerve now there are certain mcqs uh, on this this anal fissure so the answer to this is inferior rectal nerve but in some scenarios they have not mentioned the inferior rectal nerve they have mentioned the pudendal nerve so you have to pick then the pudendal nerve inferior rectal branch of pudendal nerve that is the right answer because the part is superior as compared to the group in mcq you have to make your mind if you are having group and a part the part is superior as compared to the group so you have to choose the part where here the inferior rectal nerve is the right answer coming toward the next mcq that is the dnc at 18 days of menstrual cycle which stage of uterus is this now they have not mentioned the duration of the cycle exactly at which day there is ovulation <clears throat> that is 14th day <clears throat> 14th day now what is meant by 14th day for example say a patient is having a cycle of 40 days when will be ovulation so that is 40 minus 14 40 minus 14 that is 26 so ovulation will be at 26th day so if they have given you a cycle and you subtract the 14 from the total 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 duration that is your ovulation day keep in mind ovulation is not from this side like for example a patient is having 40 day cycle ovulation is not at 14th day it is from the other end so there is another mcq that comes into your mind which phase which phase remains constant follicular phase follicular phase also known as proliferative phase or secretory phase so the answer to this mcq is secretory phase the duration of secretory phase remain constant you have to keep these mcq in mind so uh, if you are studying this mcq they have not given you the duration of cycle so you presume this is the normal menstrual cycle so the normal menstrual cycle that is 28 days and the ovulation occur at 28 minus 14 so if you subtract 14 min uh, from 28 that come 14 so at 14th day and now they are asking about 18th day so it is secretory phase so it is secretory phase now the same question if they ask which stage of the ovary which stage of the ovary now this is follicular phase follicular phase but they have asked about the uterus you have to focus on this they have asked about the uterus if they ask about the ovary then choose this option coming toward next now post up wound and the patient is having greenish pus when there is a green pus think of pseudomonas think of pseudomonas coming toward next now which is correct for sacroiliac giant now we are doing mcqs and we are explaining each option now if you are doing mcq in this order that you are clearing your concept about each and every statement you need not to go through your all theory books because this is the smart learning this is the smart learning now which is correct for sacroiliac giant focus it has got articular capsule yes it has got articular capsule it has got iliac surface covered by hyaline cartilage it has got iliac surface that is covered by fibrous cartilage it has got sacral surface that is covered by hyaline cartilage 
Yes, sacral surface is scored by hyaline cartilage. D, it is fibrous joint. No, it is not fibrous joint. E, it is plain siluin joint. Yes. So if you study this MCQ and you say that is that is plain sinoid joint and you utilize it, so you are making a blunder in exam. Why? Because there are certain options correct in this in this statement. It has got articular capsule, yes, it is right. It has got option B is wrong, but option C is right and option E is right. So A, C, and E they are all right so they can change the stem which is incorrect for sacroiliac joint incorrect which is not correct this may be a poor recall and the, the option b if they this hyaline cartilage if they change this hyaline cartilage with the fibrous cartilage then the correct answer is d fibrous joint but you have to change that correct into incorrect which is incorrect for sacroiliac joint so the answer is then fibrous joint or b hyaline cartilage should be replaced by fibrous cartilage so you have to you have to be crystal clear regarding this if question ask which is correct for sacroiliac joint then you have to keep in mind what are the correct options because a lot of times we do mistakes and we do mistakes why because we are not crystal clear in our mind we having we are having we have retalized all those things so when you sit in exam your mind is preoccupied with those options and without even giving a single read to the statement you directly pick the plain siluvian synovial giant and that is the blunder you do a person says i have uh, corrected 180 mcq out of 200 how is this possible that i have failed this is the reason so which is correct option a is correct articular capsule option c is correct sacral surface covered by hyaline cartilage option e is correct plain siluvian giant so the probability is that the b option if you replace the hyaline cartilage if you replace this with the fibrous cartilage and replace correct with the incorrect option then the, the correct option is fibrous stand but if you presume that this is the correct statement then the correct option out of this is plain siloin giant is correct yes sacral surface covered by hyaline cartilage yes it has got articular capsule so you are having three right options but again i will say this is poor recall coming toward next so the caudate lobe of, of liver now they are asking about the caudate lobe of liver that is if you see the liver it has got right lobe and left lobe the right lobe now there are other mcqs which structure divide the liver into lobes falciform ligament falciform ligament MCQ number two, which is largest lobe, right or left? Right. Which lobe is having caudate lobe? Right lobe. Which lobe is having quadrate lobe? That is another lobe. Again, the right lobe. If the question says, which lobe is physiologically independent lobe? Physiologically independent lobe. Again, caudate lobe. But anatomically, it is in the right lobe. So the answer is correct. A option. Coming toward next, the test for obstructive jaundice. Now, this is alkaline phosphatase. But if question asks in pregnancy, what is the best test for obstructive jaundice? Then this is gamma GTT. Gamma GTT. Or if the question says a patient is having raised alkaline phosphatase how can you say that this raised alkaline phosphatase is coming from the bones or it's coming from the liver which test will differentiate that is gamma glutamyl transferase ggt ggt in what other condition <coughs> ggt is raised answer is alcohol alcohol so whatever mcqs are coming to our mind i will be i will be relating with each mcq 
now again the tubular structure with mucosa submucosa and having lymphite now they have given you the clue they have given you the clue the tubular structure which among the option is tubular structure appendix of course so the, the correct that is the correct answer coming toward the next mcqs that is the changes of epithelium in cervix association is now this is very important and i will be relating other mcqs with this so when it was the change of epithelium they ask that is metaplasia metaplasia in metaplasia uh, in in cervix is it squamous metaplasia or columnar this is squamous metaplasia in the epithe uh, in the esophagus it is columnar metaplasia it is columnar metaplasia in respiratory it is squamous metaplasia so you have to realize three metaplasias the cervix the respiratory and the esophagus in the cervix we know that that is squamous metaplasia the columnar is changed into squamous and the esophagus that is columnar metaplasia and in the uh, respiratory that is the squamous metaplasia <laughs> so these three metaplasias and if the question asks what is the risk factor for metaplasia answer is chronic irritation chronic irritation so in case of uh, respiratory the chronic irritation is the smoking smoking signal is pollution in the case of es esophageal metaplasia chronic irritation is from acid reflux acid reflux and in the cervix that is the chronic irritation is from infections and iocds so the answer to those mcq is chronic irritation and you have to realize these three these three metaplasia and in metaplasia the change in epithelium from from one line to another it happens at the parent level or at the progenitor level at the start level at the stem level so it is at the stem level it is not at the parent level it is at the stem level stem level mean from which they are originating from which they are originating now true about bar bodies now all of the options are correct can be seen under light microscope completely inactive chromosome female has one bar body and heterochromatin it is heterochromatin so you have to look for another option in exam you have not to realize this plasma protein binds with all except now the plasma protein binds with co2 iron and thyroxine the plasma protein binds uh, it does not bind with oxygen oxygen is carried by uh, hemoglobin and oxygen is carried as a, in a dissolved form directly now deficiency of insulin causes what ketogenesis in liver and this is uh, the explanation for dka what is the pathogenesis of dka deficiency of insulin and what is the deficiency of insulin causes ketogenesis now there are other mcqs insulin inhibit what insulin inhibit what it inhibit lipolysis so normally it inhibit ketogenesis but whereas there, there is deficiency of insulin there is ketogenesis there is ketogenesis <clears throat> decreased activity of lipoprotein lipase is present in now the answer to this question is that is hypothyroidism that is hypothyroidism not hypertriglyceridemia because every case of hypertriglyceridemia is not due to decreased lipoprotein lipase activity what if there is increased production <clears throat> Now in pregnancy, hyperthyroid is what to give? That is propyl thiuracil. Methimazole has uh, uh, is teratogenic, so propyl thiuracil. And propyl thiuracil also inhibit the peripheral conversion in the tissue level. <coughs> now, resting membrane potential is maintained by. <coughs> this is important. <coughs> you have to look at the word maintain. <coughs> there are two words. One is achieved other is maintained achieved mean by potassium efflux when there is potassium efflux so that causes what that causes resting membrane achievement 
but once the resting membrane is achieved who maintain this resting membrane that is sodium pota sodium potassium pump they maintain so you have to look at the two words <coughs> superior mesenteric artery occlusion now this is with gangrene why because it always gave rise to infection so there is so what is meant by dry gangrene and wet gangrene dry gangrene mean you are having spasm of the visceral you are having thrombosis you, you are having cut off of the blood supply when that is superimposed by infection then it's called wet gangrene so another mcq that comes in in my mind is what is most common gangrene that we see in diabetic and diabetes that is dry gangrene dry gangrene because of thrombosis because of atherosclerosis but if question asks diabetic foot is an example of now the answer to this question is wet gangrene because diabetic foot mean you are having wet gangrene another question is immune and allergy IgE I don't know what they are asking about this MCQ what they are up to in this MCQ <clears throat> but I will add two MCQs in this what are the antigen presenting cells in asthma this is another MCQ that is macrophages that is macrophages and what are the main inflammatory most abundant inflammatory cell in asthma eosinophils eosinophils the histamine releasing cell in asthma that is the mast cell the histamine releasing cells in blood that is the basophil that is the basophil not a feature of malnutrition thrombocytopenia because in malnutrition you are having decreased weight diarrhea and stunting growth thrombocytopenia is the answer in a pregnant woman which is increased now this is important so other mcq i will relate over here is what is the most common anemia worldwide iron deficiency anemia iron deficiency anemia what is the most common cause of iron deficiency anemia bleeding bleeding what is the most common source of bleeding that gave rise to iron deficiency anemia gi gi what is the most common cause of gi bleeding is it the upper gi bleeding or lower gi bleeding that gave rise to iron deficiency anemia answer is upper gi bleeding upper gi bleeding now coming towards mcq in pregnancy you are having the blood volume is increased the volume of the plasma is increased and the, vol the volume of rbc is increased both are increased but the plasma increase is more as compared to the rbc increase plasma increase is more as compared to rbc increase so there is dilutional so there is dilutional anemia you can say but the mcv is normal so if in a scenario they give you hb of 10 but the mcv is 84 this is not iron deficiency anemia this is purely dilutional this is purely dilutional but if you give you a scenario that uh, hb is uh, 10.5 and the mcv is uh, 64 like for example say this is iron deficiency anemia so in pregnancy what increases the total iron binding capacity that increases in iron deficiency anemia the ferritin goes down the iron goes down the hb goes down what what is what is uh, uh, how can you increase the hb very quickly blood transfusion blood transfusion which artery does not blood uh, which artery does not supply your scalp straightforward question the occipital has got blood supply supratrochlear and supraorbital has got also blood supply this is maxillary now we're here i will focus on it so i think this that was sufficient for today